For centuries, this water nourished the bodies and souls of the Yakima Nation. In almost any event, they have salmon as the mainstay of the feast with all of the events that they have, religious, weddings, funerals. Yakima research scientist David Fast says that salmon now comes from hatcheries. Wild salmon disappeared from this part of the Cleelum River when it was dammed. Irrigation needs took precedent over fish until the Yakima sued over treaty rights. Now construction is underway for $130 million in fish passage renovations all aimed at reducing the stress of fish movement past the dam. They eat up their energy, so that's their body reserves. So the more stressed these fish are, the less likely they're able to complete their life cycle by spawning. This Cleelum Fish Passage Project Manager Richard Visser showed us how juveniles will migrate to the ocean. An underground passage tunnel will let them swim out safely. But getting adults up this concrete wall, that's where the silver tube comes in. The shiny part is an insulator to keep the heat off of the tube itself. It starts here, downstream. So what we have here is a single tube Woosh Volitional Fish Passage System. Jim Otten is chief engineer for Woosh, new fish transportation technology. We send the fish through our accelerator and into the tube. Once they're into the tube, about 45 seconds until the top of the dam and into the nice calm reservoir at the top. Time is everything for fish transport. The less of it, the less stress. So Woosh is still in a trial period, but there's hope it might help restore the 200,000 sockeye that once spawned here. The upstream area offers 29 miles of fish habitat. So people are very excited about the potential, the upside potential to have large numbers of sockeye coming back to the Yakima as well as the other species. At the Cleelum Dam, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.